Thanks for joining us on Bloomberg Quint. I have with me Nirvati Raya, Vice President and General Manager at Intel India. Thank you one for your time. Oh, my pleasure. So, investment 11,000, 1,100 crores uh, for the R&D centre. Tell us about that. Um, so, Intel has been in existence in India for 15 plus years. Right. And uh, if you look at the entire 15 plus years, we have invested uh, about you know 28,000 uh, crores. Um, this is testimonial to Intel's belief in right. India and the capabilities. Now what we're doing is in a fresh new investment to build a new design house and look at uh, some of the newer you know, technologies like uh, artificial intelligence, like uh, connectivity with 5G, uh, like providing uh, you know, solutions for cloud, for uh, you know, smart cities, IoT. So we are looking at all of those kind of work to be done out of uh, out of uh, India as well. Right, and in, in this uh, this R and D center that you're going to set up is going to be one of its kind. Uh, it's absolutely one of its kind for multiple reasons. Um, you know, I told you about the one-story high technology. Right. That technology uh, is why is it good? It's good because it's highly efficient. Mm -hmm. It's cost-effective. Uh, from schedule perspective also, it's uh, you know about 30-40% you can build the building faster. Right. More importantly, uh, the you know fatalities and human losses sometimes we get in such large buildings mm -hmm. don't happen. Because the way you do is you know you start your uh, ninth floor first and then right. move your ninth floor up. So your first floor gets constructed towards the end. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you know, it's, this building is going to be smart in every way. Uh, from uh, you know managing uh, temperatures to monitoring presence of people to leveraging you know renewable energy uh, to you know power up the whole building uh, so you will see many of our own technology is implemented in this building to mm -hmm. make it efficient and one of its kind right and are you looking to increase the headcount uh, for uh, so Intel is about hundred thousand plus people and uh, you know we are looking into new areas for R and D innovation and invention. Mm -hmm. And as the need comes, we look at growing into different areas, into the different geographies. Mm -hmm. So, roughly, how many people are you looking to employ by the end of this year? Uh, you know, it is a function of what we do and what we need. Mm -hmm. But uh, like I said, you know, what I'm more excited about is I will have the ability mm -hmm. to work on uh, some of the newer technologies.